Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on a few things that are new this year already. The year is starting, it's been really good. I was gonna be doing a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk video, mm -hmm. but I decided it doesn't go with my outfit and I'm going out, so I just wanna do something that I think will work for tonight. So, um, I went on a little shopping spree. Normally I buy my makeup online or my skincare online, but I really wanted to just feel a few things that I've been looking at and I had, I was on my way to a doctor's appointment, I had some time to spare and I just really wanted to get some things like instantly. So, I got quite a bit. I got the new Drunk Elephant F-Balm, which I felt on my hand in the store and it was so soft and creamy and lovely and hydrating and I just literally had to get it. So I got that. I also got the NARS Illuminator. It's actually called Tinted Glow Booster. This is really nice. I tried this on my hand as well. I also got the Laura Mercier foundation primer which is not new um, but I got this in hydrating I've got it in illuminating and I like that it's quite glowy but I feel like not all the time do I want to be glowy so I got it in hydrating to see how that works my winter skin I also got the new hourglass vanish airbrush concealer which is probably the most exciting oh it's hard it's hard it's hard it's one of the most exciting things I've bought I've been looking I've literally the last few weeks I've been looking online everywhere Space NK, Cold Beauty, anywhere they sell hourglass. Um, so this I got separately. I was gonna do a video of it on its own, which I might still do, but I'm just gonna include it in this because I really, really wanna try it. I'm gonna start with the F-Balm moisturizer, which I'm just so, do you know when you see something so hyped um, and you just don't know whether it's gonna be good? This is one of those things that I'm just like, is it gonna be good? I've got some things from Drunk Elephant. Some of them are really good. Like I like the Lippy Balm, I like the bronzing drops, I like those, but then I've also got like the Protini, the green moisturizer. It doesn't really do anything for me, and it was quite expensive. So with Drunk Elephant, it's not the cheapest brand, so like it's a bit of an investment. So when it goes wrong, it's like a disaster. So like the Marula oil, I just don't rate it that much. But this, I tried it on my hand and in store, and it felt amazing. It felt so hydrating. It is technically a mask, like a sleeping mask, but I'm gonna use it as a moisturizer because I feel like my skin can never be too nourished, especially in winter. So this is it here. Doesn't really have a scent, oh, it does a bit. The scent is very subtle, but it's like white. It's kind of like a gel formula. I don't know how my makeup's gonna enjoy this, but I just really wanted to wear it. Oh, it feels so hydrating. I just feel like my skin was thirsty and now it's not. Like that difference is insane. That's what it felt like on my hand. I was like, I just have to get it. It's so nice. And I feel like this might be wasted in the evening. I feel like my skin needs it now. Hello. So it's given my skin a really nice glassy quality. It feels really supple, not sticky at all. It's just really nice. I think it's a really nice cream. So, so far, so good. Next, I'm gonna do the primer, which is Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. A lot of this is base products. So I feel like base is really the best way to make yourself look good. If you want a good face day, get a good base day. <laughs> it rhymes. So I'm gonna use a bit of the Laura Mercier. It kind of looks like a cream as well. Just looks like a moisturizer. The same scent, or the same scent still on my hand. It's really, it glides on very easily, makes my skin look nourished. My only concern about this is will it stay, will it have too much slip? So far, so good. It looks really, my skin is so soft. It looks so hydrated. It's just a good day, guys, good day. Good day for moisturization. So next I'm going to be trying the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. This is quite big actually. You get quite a lot of product. 30 mil, so it's like the size of their foundation. And this I guess is like their version of Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. I feel like this is their answer to that or like a giant version of the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. So I feel like this is trying to be like those. This is in a glass bottle, feels very heavy. And this is it on my hand. And it's very lightweight, it's quite subtle. It does have a strong smell though. 
smells like foundation. Like the bronzy drops are a bit lighter. So these are the bronzy drops here. And this is the NARS one here. The NARS one feels richer but also thinner in texture. Whereas the bronzy drops are a bit more, a bit thicker, slightly tackier, more of a golden glow. Whereas that, the NARS one kind of disappears. They're quite different actually. So those are the D bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. I do love these, they're really good. I'm gonna use a bit of the NARS. I'm gonna do two drops just to be extra. It really does smell like their foundation, which isn't that reassuring. I don't know why it smells like a foundation, but it does give your skin a nice glow. It feels very soft. I'm gonna use a bit more just to see how glowy <laughs> It is nice, it feels really lightweight. So that is my base, guys. I'm really liking it, it's very hydrated. Hydrated, yeah. I do like the glow drops. I don't see as huge a difference as I did on my hand when I used it in store but I wanna see how it looks like under a foundation. But next, I'm going to use the Hourglass Airbrush Vanish Concealer. This is in the shade Maple. I really like the packaging of this, it's gorgeous. Ooh. Now, I watched one review of this two weeks ago and she did say it was quite a dry formula and it was more like an oil. I don't know if it's more like an oil. It doesn't feel as runny as some other concealers I've tried, but it is still a liquid formula. So it comes with a teardrop shaped applicator, flat applicator. This is in the shade Maple. I probably could have gone down a shade, but I bought this online, I didn't know which one to get. It doesn't feel as um, malleable. It doesn't feel as like liquid in the sense that you can really like, I feel like it's drying down already. You quickly rub it in before it does. It does feel a little bit patchy under the eye. It doesn't blend out as evenly as I would have thought it would have. After a while it kind of, blends in with your skin quite well and it starts to melt into your complexion a bit better. When you first put it on, it does seem a bit jarring, but it actually doesn't look too bad now. It looks pretty good. So. It does seem to go a lot further with a sponge. It spreads a, a lot better with a sponge. This is it with the brush side. And this is it with the sponge side. I've left the concealer for a little while just to kind of sink into my skin and I've really noticed a difference. It does melt in really, really nicely. So guys, that is pretty much my finished look. I wanted to show you my face just before I set it down with a setting spray. I'm actually pretty impressed with the concealer. I can really see where I've applied it and the difference it has made to my face. It just looks a lot more flawless. It looks a lot more kind of snatched, perfected. Definitely a lot more sculpted as well. Like where I went up with the concealer, you can see where it's kind of set itself and fixed itself up. There is a tiny bit of creasing under my eye, just here. And a bit here as well. But obviously I am starting to get fine lines in my age, <laughs> which is fun. 
I do like the finish. It looks very flawless. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. It does have that kind of matted down perfection finish. I don't normally go for that, but I do like it though, and I do like how it sculpted up my up my face. And it just looks so, so, so smooth where it was as well. My favorite thing was, was the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial Mask Hydron from Drunk Elephant. I personally will be using this as a moisturizer because I think it's really nice. It does say to use like four to five pumps and I think that's really excessive and I don't know why you'd ever need four to five pumps of any cream. Uh, foundation's a different story, obviously I'm a bit crazy. But I think one pump of this as a moisturizer is amazing, it's gorgeous. It made my skin feel so nourished, so hydrated and I love this. It's 44 pounds so it's not cheap but Drunk Elephant are a clean beauty brand so sometimes they do tend to be a bit more expensive just because they have to find products that replace bad products for your skin. So hopefully this is gonna be really good for my skin. I will keep you posted on how this goes, but so far I really like this. It's kind of been love at first sight. This is definitely my favorite product of the day. Also really like the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. It just kind of felt like a cream, felt like standard hydrating primer, but it didn't feel as slippery as others I've tried. I've got quite a few moisturizing primers. I've got the Marc Jacobs one, which I really like because it's creamy and it feels nourishing, but that is quite slippy. And I have the Revolution Pro Hydrating Primer, which is really good for the price. I think it's like seven or eight pounds, but this is super slippy. This feels like my makeup's gonna fall off. I don't know if it does or not, but it feels like it, so it's not really a nice, feeling. I think this is probably the best of the three so far, but I haven't worn it throughout the day, so I'll let you know how it goes. Also, I did like the NARS Glow Booster. I preferred it on my hand in the store. I'm going to try it with some other foundations. I'm also going to try it over summer, also when I go away, see how it goes. But I think this is a product I will grow to use more and more. But I think because I had such a moisturized face today, I don't think I could really tell its benefits, like it didn't give me a super glow because my skin was already kind of glowy. I really do like this concealer. I think it's given my skin a really nice flawless finish. A bit patchy in parts, but nothing can be perfect. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next one.